Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing a 2024 election prediction between Republican son of Donald Trump, Donald Trump Jr., and Vice President of the United States, Kamala Harris. So, I think this election would be an interesting one because you have Donald Trump Jr., who is probably going to get most of the flack from the media, similar to how his father, Donald Trump, got. And then he's probably going to get most of the same attacks. And then Kamala Harris, the VP, who is not very well liked nationwide, so this is going to be an election of two pretty unpopular candidates based on my opinion and also based on data as well. So Donald Trump Jr., Kamala Harris, I think Harris will start off by winning the West Coast. I think that any Democrat has that area pretty much locked up. I think the state of Illinois would go safe. I think that throughout the eastern seaboard states would go blue for Kamala Harris. I think Maine's first district would go safe. Um, Maine at large, actually, I'm going to come back to. New York would be safe. And I think that's going to do it for now. So, she gets 181, off to a pretty solid start. Donald Trump Jr. will now go in and win a lot of the traditional Republican states as well. Uh, Nebraska's first district, I'm going to put it as lean Trump Jr. for now. Uh, I'm going to fill it out now. Actually, Maine's second district, I'm going to, I'm going to give it to Kamala Harris, actually, in the tilt column. Very, very close, but I got a weird feeling she would win that. Uh, the South will go for Donald Trump Jr. as well. That gets him to 126. Harris is at 182. So, we have some likely states for Kamala Harris to go through. I think the state of Virginia would be a likely state. I think Colorado and New Mexico would also be likely. And I think that would get her to 210. Donald Trump Jr. I think would win the state of Texas likely, if not even safe against Kamala Harris. I do not see that state being a Harris state at all. So that would be likely. Iowa and Ohio, I think, would also be likely for Donald Trump Jr. Harris is at 210. Junior is at 189. I think Maine would also be likely as well. Forgot to do that one. Maine's likely 212 for Harris, 189 for Trump Jr. I think Kamala Harris would win the state of Minnesota in the lean column. Minnesota being in the lean column shows the testament how bad Kamala Harris is able to appeal to the Rust Belt. She is not a Rust Belt candidate at all. And I think that's definitely going to hurt her. However, she would still win Minnesota. I think she would win New Hampshire in the lean column just because New Hampshire's tendency not to necessarily support Donald Trump or Donald Trump-like candidates too well. In 2016, Donald Trump got 46% of the vote, and then in 2020, he got pretty much the exact same. So 46% is about the Trump ceiling in the state of New Hampshire, which is more than enough for any Democrat to win. So I think Harris would get 226 by winning Minnesota and New Hampshire. I think Donald Trump Jr. would win the state of Florida, maybe lean, maybe tilt. I'm going to put it in lean for now. 219, I think the state of North Carolina goes to Donald Trump Jr. That 16 more electoral votes to his column gets him to 235. At this point, Donald Trump Jr. has won the same amount of states that his father won in 2020. I think the state of Nevada actually flips to Donald Trump Jr. in this scenario. I think Donald Trump Jr. wins this state. I think Nevada's trending red. It could flip in 2024 or 2028, but I think it will flip soon. However, the opposite, I think Arizona is going to go in the tilt column for Kamala Harris. Despite the fact that I think Kamala Harris is pretty much a bad Democratic candidate, I think she would still win the state of Arizona, as the state of Arizona, beyond any other state, especially any other swing state, does not like the Trump name. And I think Arizona goes for Kamala Harris in this election. I think the state of Georgia does flip back, honestly, for Donald Trump Jr. I don't think Kamala Harris gets the suburban uh, turnout that Joe Biden got. And I think that state would flip back for Donald Trump Jr. in this election. Now, Donald Trump Jr. is at 257. Kamala Harris is at 237. This is where things get interesting. Kamala Harris, I think, does win the state of Michigan by under 1%. The state of Michigan, I think, voting for Donald Trump in 2016 was great. But for now, I think it might have been a fluke one-off election. 47.3% to 47%. So a plurality of the vote only won it by about 15,000 votes. I'm not necessarily sure if Michigan will be going red again anytime soon. However, under 1% against Kamala Harris is pretty good for Donald Trump Jr. The state of Wisconsin, I think, goes to Donald Trump Jr. in the tilt column. 267. I think Wisconsin's going to trend red like Nevada in 2024. I don't know if Republicans will win both states, but I think it will definitely trend in the Republican direction. Trump Jr. gets up to 267. Harris is at 252. It all comes down to the state of Pennsylvania. And if you thought 2016 made history, get ready for this. Donald Trump Jr., I think, would win the state of Pennsylvania, making him the next president of the United States, defeating Kamala Harris. I can't stress this enough. I do not think Kamala Harris is a good candidate for the Rust Belt. That is the only reason I see Donald Trump Jr. beating her 
in Wisconsin and Pennsylvania. I don't even know if Donald Trump would beat Joe Biden in Wisconsin or Pennsylvania if he ran for 2024. Probably not. I think Donald Trump Jr. very well could beat Harris in the Rust Belt. I think Donald Trump could beat her in the Rust Belt. Kamala Harris is not a good candidate for the Rust Belt. So that will lead to the Republicans, Donald Trump Jr. winning back the White House for Republican control. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you tap the bell icon that clicks alerts next to the subscribe button so you always get notified when I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.